Ladies and gentlemen, the extremely popular Twitch streamer and YouTube reaction content creator, World of Warcraft content creator, Asmund Gold is under attack on probably one of his biggest flubs, I would say, from just an outsider looking in. For anyone who doesn't know who Asmund Gold is somehow, this is who he is. Zach, aka Asmongold, he's one of the largest creators over on Twitch. He's the creator of OTK, One True King, which is like this gaming group. He owns this company, Starforge Systems, which is a PC company. And overall, he's extremely successful, extremely wealthy, although he doesn't look it, which is one of the reasons why he's gone extremely viral for, you know, having this messy room. Surely you've seen this image around of this pigsty, this dragon's den, this little bird's nest of a goblin cave, right? Now, Asmongold is in the thick of it for this now viral video hitting 11 million views this guy named Hassan Abi Productions it is a Hassan fan says Asmund Gold on the Jino side in Gaza I don't give a f they're terrible people they come from an inferior culture that's apparently from this video not me genocide as a systematic killing of a group of people they have genocide built into Sharia law right now so no, I'm not going to cry a fucking river when people who have genocide that's baked into their laws are getting genocided. I don't give a fuck. They're terrible people. It's not even a question. It's crazy that people don't see it that way. They'd be doing the same thing. Mm. And how much did they kill? As many as they can. They're not able to kill as many people as Israel because they don't have as many bombs and as many weapons. But if they did, they'd be doing the same thing. That's it. Just takes enough. That's right. These people are not your allies. They are not the same as us. They come from an inferior culture that is horrible. It kills people for their identity and it is directly antithetical to everything Western values stand for. And it is an inferior culture in all ways. It is that simple. No, I don't feel bad for them. I don't feel sorry for them. I don't care. I don't support them. If you want to. So for context, a lot of people are upset at that, obviously, because they think that he's talking about Palestine or talking about people in the Middle East. And he's very vague with what exactly he's trying to say, which is ex why it's extremely important to be as less vague. You don't want to let people assume things or make guesses of what you're trying to say. Um, now, I was able to luckily find the original clip where this is from, which is um, this stream he did earlier. It's called Drops DBZ Sparking Zero Continues React News and Drama. It was from earlier today. And I'm going to start this at the 18 minute and 21 mark. It's going to be linked below if you want the rest of the video. But he spends about 18 minutes just kind of talking about like things happening modern day and talking about like this drama with like some VTubers and like this Asian art where they like black. What is it called? Like they made them by blackface or whitewashed, whatever the case may be. But we're just going to talk about this part here. Ukraine is ultra is nationalistic and a racist country and it supports Nazism. Yeah, well, um, when you find me some videos of Ukrainians going around and collectively stoning or killing a person for being gay, uh, like they do in places like Palestine, then I can say that the two things aren't congruent. But until I find pictures and videos of that, I'm going to say that Palestine and trans rights or Palestine and LGBT rights, uh, these are two things that you can't support at the same time. You can't do it. It's so annoying. And I think that if you see a person that's doing that on Twitter, so, you know that. I don't necessarily disagree with this part. It is interesting. I think that there's a lot of people who are here in America and they're very safe they know that it's safe to have these opinions and say, support this side, support this side. 
But it's very possible that Palestinians or people in the Middle East would not be so supportive of, you know, the LGBT community in return. I'm not defending what Asmund Gold said. I'm just kind of agreeing with that point that it is interesting to support the group that would not support you. I'm not saying that they deserve a genocide like it seemed like Asmund Gold accidentally said. But I'm just saying that that exact point he just made, I don't disagree with. They are a vapid, emotionally charged baby that puts no thought into anything that they say or do. And all they're doing is looking to have the right opinion about the current thing. That's all they're doing. Okay. About USA Overwatch stuff, all right? Yeah, now exactly, you, right? You could Imagine argue, if... you could argue that Asmund Gold lives in that same mindset where he just kind of watches things and he sees like, okay, like this game's getting pushed back for sucking. I guess I'm going to say this game sucks now. Oh, this game or show is getting pushed back for like being too woke. I'm going to say something about it now. Hating on it being woke, right? Asmund Gold kind of does the same thing just from his perspective. You know, he's allowed to have opinions. I agree with some of his things. I disagree with a lot of the things he says. But he kind of has that same mindset, except he's a little more what people would say based like he, he for a large creator. He's not scared to give his opinions. He's not scared to say the first thing that comes to his head, no matter how dumb it is, which is why you oftentimes see him clipped and people just post him. And you can't really say it's out of context because with the context, it makes him look just as bad. <laughs> Defending Russia? Well, I mean, hey, here's the thing. Um, I, I'm not really, like, I don't want to get involved with that kind of stuff either. But uh, that's it. People's talking shit about Ukraine is a big self-report. Well, I, I understand, like, there are, like, complaints that people have about Ukraine. I think some of them are fair. But overall, I, I would say that Palestine is definitely much less aligned uh, with us than uh, than Ukraine is. Um, and uh, if, if you're not sure about that, uh, look at who Palestine supported in uh, World War II, right? Uh, pretty simple. So, yeah, you could not want to... Now, I don't know a lot about what Asmund Gold just said, where he said, look at who they supported in World War II. So I actually Googled it. I Googled who did Palestine support in World War II, and I found this. The Arabs of Palestine remained largely quiescent, quiescent <laughs> throughout the war. Amin al Hassani had fled by the way of Iraq, Iran, Turkey, and Italy to Germany, whence he broadcast appeals to his fellows. Arabs to ally with the Axis powers against Britain and Zionism. Yet the Mufti ta failed to rally Palestinian Arabs to the Axis cause. Although some supported Germany, the majority supported the Allies, and approximately 23,000 Arabs enlisted in the British forces, especially in the Arab Legion. Mind you, this is from the Britannica website. I think I would trust Britannica a little more than Asmund Gold. Again, I'm not saying he's wrong, though, and he's allowed to have his opinions. That's why it's very important to, you know, cite who you're finding that information from or build up your arsenal of having, you know, actual factual information and being known as someone who spreads factual information, you know, kind of like you don't have to like him. I know he's a controversial figure, Destiny. He cites most of the things he says. So even if you disagree with him on like his opinions, most of the times if he's just giving you hard hitting data, it's someone that you can say, okay, he's, he's probably right. He's probably not making that up because he's spent years and years and years and has all of the evidence and backup and research to go with that. And he's not just, you know, Asmongold here, just saying an opinion or saying an idea and, you know, just being able to easily research and see that he's not exactly 100% accurate genocide and also want rights for gay people no you can't because the people that want that, that that you're like fighting against the genocide for would genocide gay people no you can't nope they're the ones that are going to uh that, like if they had their rights they would be genociding gay people so no i'm not going to create a a genocide tier list and so they're all bad that's in regards to, um, I'm guessing, Sharia law, and where he said they're all bad. It's just, he put himself in a very bad spot, because I know what he's trying to do. He's trying to say that Hamas is bad, or anyone who supports or wants Sharia law is bad. Um, he's not factoring in, you know, people who don't necessarily like 
Sharia law or who don't want to live in Palestine. Like there can be people who live under a system and not agree with it, not support it. It's kind of like the war. Like it would be unfair for someone in another country to say, well, like all Americans are horrible because they fund the war and they are tyrants and they love war and they love, you know, ending the lives of innocent people when not every American obviously believes that not every American believes in what the government does or what the government supports or what the government spends their money on. And so at, you know, Asmund Gold made a really big mistake right there by saying all of them, he could fix that. He could fix that. It's pretty, it's, it's so, it's so, it's literally so simple. Are you insane? Uh, what kind of take is this? It's a fact. It's a fucking fact. Like, it, it, it's it's so obvious to anybody who's not retarded. Oh, there we go. There goes my age restriction. Wait, Susan, right? Yeah, there, there you go. Ad money. And uh, be a good tier list. People cannot comprehend that they're trying to normalize, tolerating the intolerant. Um, you're literally creating a tier list by not supporting them because of someone else on the list? No, I'm not. I'm not supporting any of it. Uh, absolutely not. Uh, I'm not supporting a, uh, a group of people that would, uh, you know, kill a gay person or a trans person for existing. Uh, I'm not going to support that group of people in any context. Absolutely not. This is very interesting because he's giving the opinion that people should support. But unfortunately, since it's such a polarizing section of the world right now and the war and you know the israel versus hamas and palestine and zionism and so many words being thrown around i don't cover any of that right i cover mr beast drama <laughs> ksi slop drama like this is kind of my forte but i don't get into that too much because i honestly don't know what the heck's going on obviously hot take guys but war's kind of bad bit of a hot take <laughs> war sucks hope everybody could live and be in harmony and um i i think that's the take that asmund's trying to make and he failed very very badly he, he did very bad at making that opinion no it's not even a question these people would be the ones doing the genociding if they had the power they would be doing it their laws currently enable them to do it if you want to consider a genocide as a systematic killing of a group of people, they have genocide built into Sharia law right now. So no, I'm not going to cry a fucking river when people who have genocide that's baked into their laws are getting genocided. I don't give a fuck. All right, now for anyone who might not know much about Sharia law, I can't blame you, uh, but I am on the United States Commission of international religious freedom. This is a document that they threw together. Um, it's about the use of Sharia as a religious justification for capital punishment against LGBT persons. I'm not gonna read all this. It just basically tells you what factors in as like same-sex relationships, uh, opposite sex relationships, blasphemy, apostasy. We can scroll down just a little bit. There are 10 countries where consensual same-sex relationships are formally punishable by death, all of which justify denial of rights and personhood on official interpretations of Sharia. Countries that impose the death penalty for consensual same-sex relationships, Iran, Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Nigeria, Somalia, Martin. Tanya? I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. <laughs> United Arab Emirates, Qatar, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. Right? So there are countries that punish by death under Sharia law, which is why a lot of people don't want that anywhere in um, other countries like America and the United States of America, you know, no continents like North America, South America. People was kind of say, keep that Keep that to yourself. We don't want that anywhere near us. They're terrible people. It's not even a question. It's crazy that people don't see it that way. They'd be doing the same thing. Mm. And how much did they kill? As many as they can. They're not able to kill as many people as Israel because they don't have as many bombs and as many weapons. But if they did, they'd be doing the same thing. That's it. Just takes enough. That's and right. These it's very dangerous that he is 
factoring everyone into this bubble. It's very dangerous when people do the same thing about like Israel. Like every Jewish person is not evil. Every Israeli person is not evil. Every Palestinian is not evil, right? If he was to say, if he was to clarify that he's specifically talking about like terrorist organizations or Hamas or any of these like really bad groups, I think a lot of people can just admit are pretty bad. I think he would be safe, but he hasn't gotten to that point yet. These people are not your allies. They are not the same as us. They come from an inferior culture that is horrible. It kills people for their identity and it is directly antithetical to everything Western values stand for. And it is an inferior culture in all ways. It is that simple. No, I don't feel bad for them. I don't feel sorry for them. I don't care. I don't support them. Again, see, that's not a good look. It's fine to say you don't support them. It's fine, I think, to think that the idea of Sharia law is not great. It's not superior. If some would say inferior, well, who am I to judge? Or I don't. I think some of you are to look into Sharia law. You can probably look at that and say, "Oh yeah, 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 keep that over there, right?" <laughs> um, but to say I do not feel bad for them, or what else did he just say? Always. It is that simple. No, I don't feel bad for them. I don't feel sorry for them. I don't feel bad for them. I don't feel sorry. I feel bad. I feel sorry, obviously, for people who are involved in these wars who don't want to be there. People who are unfortunately born into a society of Sharia law. People who are born into these, you know, war-torn countries that they didn't ask to be born in. I feel sorry and feel bad for these people. I don't know why Asmongold is saying this. Um, again, this is why I'm saying this is probably one of his biggest f-ups ever because you know for the most part he has some hot takes but they're kind of like based you know so he can get away with it and people on some sides can kind of support him and say whatever i get what he's saying this is one of those rare times where it's very difficult to defend what he's saying because i agree with him that sharia law is not the best but i don't agree with him of not feeling bad for those who are losing their lives in these wars whatever side they're on right Again, if that's not what he's saying, he's going to need to say something, put out a statement or something to elaborate. I don't care. I don't support them. It's that simple. And I understand that this is a very harsh statement. That's what I think. Yep. 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 That's right. That's true, though. Even the children? What do you think that the children... What do you think that they would do to gay children? What do you think they would do? Oh, that's right. They'd kill them. No, you're not going to emotionally manipulate me into saying some things are okay. They'd kill them. The people are terrible. Okay. Yeah, rocks. Yep, exactly. Toss them off a roof. Yeah, it's not a question. It's an inferior culture. There you go. So he, he kind of doubles down, you know, mentioning kids, you know, all the kids involved in the wars and the bombings and stuff. Yeah, yeah, very difficult to kind of defend Nazman here. Again, you know, I'm a big proponent, a big supporter of free speech and um, very forgiving when people make mistakes and say dumb things. It's one of those things that's very difficult to, you know, kind of defend and try to translate as anything other than, you know, what is just blatantly what he's saying, right? Now, shortly after his stream, Asmin did end up going onto Twitter to put out a statement saying, looking back on it, I was way too much of an asshole about the Palestine thing. My bad. Of course, no one deserves to have their life destroyed, even if they do things or have views I find regressive. You guys deserve more than me saying stupid shit like that. I'll do better. Which I think is a fair apology. I just think it's kind of already done its damage. Um, people do not like Asmin Gold very much. Um, for whatever reason, and I think now they actually have like a reason and clips that will always circulate. You know, it's one of those times where taken out of context looks really bad, even with context, still looks pretty bad. And there's no one to blame but himself. I mean, I appreciate the apology. Um, hopefully, others do too. I think, yeah, this is one of those times where Asmund Gold's like, I don't give a 
crab attitude came back and bit him right on the keister. You know what I mean? Now, of course, after this whole situation made its rounds on the internet, other popular creators started to come out with, you know, their own statements. Uh, Dark Viper AU, he is a Grand Theft Auto speedrunner who had a viral set of videos talking about reaction content and how, you know, people like Asmongold ruined the platform by reposting, you know, whatever it may be, like react content, lazy uploads of like stream highlights, things like that. And so he made this post saying the degradation of Asmongold as a person and his content is something that should be studied. In his early career, he was edgy, but a harmless doofus. Now he might actually have a mental Ill illness. Compare this small sample from four years apart. And we have um, I, I this don't, clip. Um, I, I don't want to get into like the politics stuff because the thing is that you're, we're not going to have a conversation in good faith uh, about this, okay? Everybody's already got their mind made up. And the people that are actually genuinely out there looking to make an opinion are probably socially adjusted well enough to where they would never watch my stream. So <laughs> it would just be a waste of time. Um, that's base. That's that's back when Basman Gold, you know, it was base. He kind of stood in his own lane in terms of like, I don't know what the hell's going on over there. I'm going to stay out of it. Right. Compared to this is a clip of what we just watched. Um, and there's actually an old post back from last year of Asmongold saying weird as f to see so many people coming out with statements about the Israel-Palestine conflict as if they need to comment on it. Can we please stop with this weird culture around expecting people with no relevant background or education to talk about world events and politics? Of course, people are posting this because it's ironic because that's exactly what he just did which is leading to him being cancelled right now. Now we have of course some creators coming out to Call for his ban, Casey Tron. Here are some of the TOS guidelines that Asmongold directly violated. Suggest that a victim of a hate crime deserve to be harmed, incite or promote violence against a protected group, aka and all of the protected group, content that perpetuates a recognized negative stereotype about a protected group as greedy or unintelligent, content suggesting that protected group members are subhuman, inhuman, or impure, and it's just a whole lot of other things that are in Twitch's TOS that I guess they think Asmongold violated. It's going to be interesting to see what Twitch does if they do anything. Uh, we have this guy, Mighty Keith. He's like a gaming YouTuber. YouTube and Twitch about to nuke Asmongold's channel. And if they do, I fear that we may be at the beginning of a new culture war, my friends. We really might be. Because Asmongold is like the face of Twitch, the face of reaction content. And if he loses everything because of that opinion even though it was kind of sh a trash opinion <laughs> uh, they, we're gonna see a lot of crazy things happen you know a friend of the channel rosanna pancino jumped in on it what the f did i just listen to anyone else sick of this absolute garbage infesting all corners of the internet i don't know if she's talking about him in general or just like people's opinions uh, no one deserves to be getting genocided. How can you not care about innocent women and children? That's kind of my take, too. Like, as I've mentioned before, there are people involved in both sides of this conflict who want to go to war. Maybe they want to fight for these ideas and end other people. But there are some who don't. Like, there are some who just happen to be born somewhere, happen to live somewhere, and they can't go anywhere. And I feel bad for those people. I think everyone should. Now we have Nicholas DiOrio saying, The streamers who made Free Palestine their entire personality have finally located Twitch's elusive terms of service. After ignoring participating in constant violent speech, racist rhetoric, and platforming freaking terrorists live on stream, they've begun citing rules to police people, lol. Um, and I think a lot of this has to do like relating to people like Hassan Piker, who, yeah, he literally has, you know, interviewed a terrorist on stream, um, does have violent speech. You know, he's like, yeah, if you guys ever see these people go, you know, beat them up and stuff like that in Minecraft, in Minecraft. So I kind of get what Nicholas is saying here as well, you know, for the group that has been so anti-Semitic. We're going to be brutally honest. They've been anti-Semitic. Not everyone. I'm not like Asmongold going to say an entire group was. But there are a lot of people who are on this whole Free Palestine part that are quickly 
drifting into the anti-Semitic crowd. And those people have done this. Violent speech, racist rhetoric, platforming terrorists. And they, you know, disguise it as like, well, we just hate Zionists. We hate this. We hate that. And it quickly turns into a whole lot more than just hating Zionists. Um, and that's where I think I'm going to wrap the video up. All of this happened very recently. It's been a few hours. Uh, it's still settling. I'll keep you updated on what exactly is happening. I know some people who are involved and like partnered with his like computer company and a few of his other companies are kind of pulling out as well. It's dangerous. We're getting we're getting into some sketchy business, my friends. This might be some new drama for the next week or so, I think. If if we start seeing other streamers who've worked alongside, you know, Asmongold, like Ms. Kiff and Imaru and all these other creators have to come out and drop, you know, some statements or make videos. It's gonna be wacky. It's gonna be wacky to say the least, my friends, but Please like the video, share it, subscribe it. I'll see you all very soon. Peace out.